Hello and welcome to HCS Imagination. Uh, this is Hussein, and I'll be teaching you today about the layers. So the layers is a big concept and major concept in Photoshop. So today we'll be learning of different types of layers and how will you be using layer masks. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So I'm in Photoshop now, I've created a new document and uh, this is uh, when you create a new document you have uh, just a single layer that is background. Uh, so if you see the background is locked now, I mean you need to create the, convert this into a, a normal layer. So a shortcut for that is just hold Ctrl and Alt and double click on it. So it will be layer 0. So how the layer concept works is. Photoshop will always have a blank layer. You can see this is the transparent. So if you see these type of check boxes, this is a transparent thing. And on it, there is a white layer on it. And uh, for a layman term example, what I can say is, oh, you all have would have worked on different uh, school projects when you were back in the day in school. Uh, making different animal charts, uh, different location charts or anything. So what you would do is first have a blank uh, piece of paper with uh, just a white, white KG cardboard, uh, a big uh, sheet of paper and then on it you stick different animals, you stick on it and then you color on it and then you write names on it and then your final product is ready similar way even in photoshop we have a blank document here on which we can insert images we can insert text and each layer will be you know uh, it won't uh, affect each other for for uh, let me show you with an example so i have a couple of samples so for example i if I had to create uh, an animal animal chart, so I have my blank document here, and then I'll just load these three images which I've taken to Photoshop. I'll just drag and drop it on Photoshop. So this is first image, second image, and third image. Okay, just for an example. So what I'll do is I will resize this. So for, to resize, uh, click on Control or Command T, and I'll select the next image. I'll resize this and keep it here. And for third image, resize this and keep it here. This is uh, a very basic understanding of layer. If you see on the right hand side, each layer is created for each image. So I can independ independently control what happens to each layer. And there's one more thing that the bottom layer would, it would be on the hierarchy. Say for if I move this duck over to this layer of image so the previous layer would be hidden and if i bring the cat layer on the top then the deck layer is hidden so this is how it works so the topmost layer would be always visible and uh, until it's trans transparent and the bottom layer would be have the least priority so it goes on that level of hierarchy so the next thing is we have different types of layers uh, we can have an adjustment layer or we can have a image layer and also we can have shape layers so so this was image layer for example i want to add an adjustment layer so i'll just go down here we have different types of adjustment layers so the benefit of adjustment layer is for example i load this and uh, I'll just add white and black to it. Mm, okay. And I change, I change the opacity of this a little bit. 
so the adjustment layer becomes a new independent layer and it affects everything below it whatever comes if the adjustment layer was over here then it would affect only these two pictures and if it was here it would affect only this and if it was down here it wouldn't affect anything it would just affect the background okay so this is the hierarchy of uh, layers and uh, yeah the using of ad adjustment layer is uh, very comfortable because because on any point of time you can just go ahead and change how the adjustment is created i mean for example uh, I, i'll just delete this and create a new solid color layer okay so i'll create a red and reduce the opacity opacity is nothing but uh, how much of three you want to give for this particular layer so say i have given it to this level so now you can see so i i have completed this but further down the line uh, when i'm doing my project i realize this color is not suitable if i can just double click here and change the colors to blue to any color of my of my wish so these are uh, different types of adjustment layers you have a lot of adjustment layers each layer has you can write a book on it of its own uh, but usually what we use is we use curves we use levels we use hue and saturation we use white and black so we use different also white and black would be interesting for this so let's so everything becomes white and black now same way if you just change move the layer so you have two images which are white and black now if you just move down you just have one image so now let's go to the next layer style which is shapes so if you go on the left hand side bottom here you will find different uh, shapes rectangular rounded rectangular and so on so i'll just select one rectangle and i'll change it to a shape here and then i'll just add a new shape so if you see this shape has its own lay has its own layer created now so i can move the shape independently it's not fixed to anything and i can also create another layer which is a text layer so just clicking on t opens a text layer you can see this icon has been created now i mean this icon just gets highlighted i can click anywhere on the document and start writing so i'll just change the color to black and let me start writing the same or just say rat okay move this text layer here then duck move this text layer over here and then let me just hide this rectangle layer and say cat text layer down below so see if you see here there are three different layers created all are text layers but they are independent on its own you can just change double click on it change the color of it okay you can you can move around i mean it's independent so that's how layers are benefit uh, beneficial for uh, you know it is really useful for the creators you can make changes any any time in the project and uh, yeah it every layer is independent and uh, so now if you see so for example you are fine with this changes and uh, you're happy with it now you can just go ahead and 
click on alt shift save s and change it save it as animals make the resolution high and if you go back to your folder a new image would be saved animals see that's it that's how i mean this if you relate back to the co uh, the concept of chart making you used to have a black black big board you just take different images and stick on it and write the names we did similar things on photoshop just we opened a layer opened a new document of uh, photoshop loaded different pictures and named it so and saved it so this is your final document and this once you save it in jpeg it's non editable so let me just load this back to photoshop you see let me just load it a new document load back so now if you see not thus everything is in a single layer now you cannot make any changes until you have a psd document so hope this is this concept of layers is clear to you now so we'll move to the next part of this tutorial that is masking so masking is nothing but uh, uh if i want to explain you on um, relating to the previous example which i used on chart making you used to get a uh, chart animal images but what i used to do is i used to take scissors and cut out the background of say example cat whatever whatever the animal is i i i'd like to cut out the background and just keep the subject on the chart because if you see if you see in this example the rat only the subject is relevant for me the subject is relevant for me even in this the subject is relevant for me but if you see the rest of the background is not that appealing so similarly uh, so instead of scissors we have something called layer mask so to activate that just select the layer and click on this button over here that is mask okay mask so i have selected this cat so in layer mask there is a simple thumb rule that anything which is painted white will be visible anything which is painted black will be hidden so white is to see black is to hide the thumb rule of layer mask white is to see black is to hide okay so i'll take a brush now and just lower the size of the brush i think this is fine so what what did we discuss now so white is to see if you see here it, it's already white so everything is visible on this image and black is to hide so let me just click on x to change my foreground color to black and let me just paint so if you see white black is hiding everything and this layer mask would affect the only the particular layer it wouldn't affect anything else so and layer masks are non destructive let me just tell you what is not destructive here for example i by mistake i painted on the cat's eye so i can just change my brush remember white is to see and black is to hide so i'll just switch it to white because i want few things to be visible i'll just paint on it now so like that so the colors are all the image is not been deleted it's not been erased we have just we are just hiding the unwanted things in the image
using their masks. Okay. Yeah, similarly, we can just paint. We can use the same concept even for a other image. But yeah, see, I'm, I'm trying to paint, but nothing is working because I have not selected that particular image. I select this and click on layer mask. Then using the brush tool, I just paint on it. This is the easiest technique for removing. Uh, you can you can you can see my previous video on how to remove the background. You can use that technique to remove it more accurately. Yeah, and this would stay forever. I mean, this the 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 back the you might think that we have deleted the background no we have not if i just hide this layer mask disable layer mask you can see everything has been preserved we are just masking on it so that's it so you can use uh, this technique in a lot of ways uh, let me just load another image and just keep everything and there is one more uh, thing to to keep your uh, files organized there's a feature called group so selecting all the documents which you have used for uh, for your period uh, for your work which are related just control G it creates a group so you can name it as example one G one okay and you can hide it so complete thing would be hide it. everything inside this folder would be affected on this okay so let me just go back and load another three images so now we have three different images so this is image one, image two, and image three. So now you can see if I just resize this, nothing else is visible. And if I resize this, if I bring this up, so my previous image has been hidden. So now, so we need to understand how to place the layers. So let me just click on this I button and hide this layer and hide in this. So now, for example, I want to change uh, the look of the sky. If I want to merge two images. First example, we saw how to get all the different images in one single document. And for uh, I gave an example of chart. So now what if I want to manipulate an image? What if I want to change certain aspects of this image? This sky looks really boring to me. And if you want to see the complete speed art of the image, uh, the link is in the description. You can just watch it. So I used this sky, which is of a different image altogether. I just resized this. Okay. I lower its opacity just to see if everything is fitting over here and then I'll create layer mask okay and now what I'm gonna do is I'll just click on control I so what I told you why white is to see and black is to hide so I painted everything as black in this on this document so everything is hidden so nothing is visible so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna brush it only on the layers which i want to see only on the places which i want to see I'll select this layer i mean i'll select this uh, uh, mask and just start slowly painting white on it now you can see it the sky is changing sky is not actually changing it's just 
that the layer is getting visible now. So this I've done not a good job. I mean, it's just a rough, rough example of how you can you can you can use layer mask to manipulate images. Okay, so let's go one step ahead and add even this document. Just use the Control D and reducing the size. Let's add even this and then add a layer mask to it and paint it and for example if now the if you see the colors are not matching the sky is not matching with the planet which we have inserted for that we will be using adjustment layer uh, we'll just try with human saturation now and we will change the hue but if you see it's getting affected to all the different layers but we want it only on the planet so what we can do that there is just click on this button over here and click on it so now the effects would be only applied on the layer which is below it which has the clipping mask to it and i think this just doing it for an exercise i'm not really working on accuracy here just trying to explain and also on even on hue and saturation will have a uh, even on the adjustment layer you'll have you'll have a layer mask so if i use this and try to paint on it you can see it's not applying adjustment on that particular things that particular area see so let's recap what we learned today first we learned on let me just group this first we learned on how the hierarchy of layers work what how what will be visible what will be hidden if we arrange the layers incorrectly and how to arrange layers then we learned on on adding different layers to an image adding text layers shape layers uh, image layers adjustment layers on an image and even how they work if the adjustment layer is on the top it will affect all the layers till the bottom if the adjustment layer is on, on any level it will affect only those levels of it and if you clip an adjustment layer to a particular layer it will just affect to that particular layer and not to any other layers in the document then we learned on text layers how uh, how text layers if you create different text layers how they would be independent and how you can control them then we added a group to our work so grouping is really good it will it will help you a lot now when you're working on big projects big uh, documents and then we learned on how we can use layer masks how we can hide things to hide we need to paint with black and to see we need to paint it with white so we learned that part then we used uh, the same uh, hide and show technique to manipulate an image to to make it's not perfect art but if you want to see the perfect art you can go to my channel and uh, the link will be in the description you can just watch that image how i train change this um, into a complete different doctor complete different image so 
that's it for today do let me know if you want to learn anything on photoshop if i i'll be happy to teach you guys and if you like this video if it was anything helpful please leave a like comment down below and share it with your friends and if you've not subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks a lot have a good day